Plumbing problems can be a huge inconvenience, but it's often hard to know when the plumber you've called becomes no longer an ally, but someone actually looking to take advantage of your situation, which is exactly why I'm here with my friend Scott Farrell from Black Mountain Plumbing. He's gonna help us know what to look for to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. So Scott, I wanna tell the story of Vicki up in North County, who was maybe being taken advantage of, whether it's an inexperienced plumber or someone who just was really out to be a predator. Can you tell me what happened to Vicki? Let's talk about her story. Um, well, so she had a stoppage, called somebody out, and they opened a hole up in the middle of her house, threw her wood floor, threw her concrete, and uh, got rid of the stoppage. And then that was like $4,000, and then they wanted to do another $12,000 back the way they came. At that point, she should have called somebody, and she did. She called us. So let's talk about that. She agreed to the $4,000 repair that she... I guess, I guess that's a situation that had happened to her before. She was aware that it was an irregular line that she had to have jetted and have fixed, and that seemed about the right price. When it jumped up to $12,000, is that a, a red flag that she should have looked into? And, and she did, because she gave you a call. Yeah. If a plumber's working on your house doing some plumbing, and it's a couple hundred dollars difference than the original price... So say if it went from 4000 to the 4200 or something. Yeah. They just, you know, thank you for telling me, add the $200 of value and let's get the job done. But yeah. if it all of a sudden goes up thousands of dollars, stop, get another opinion about the added extra work because you want to know for sure that's there. And sometimes it is, but a lot of times it's not. So it's kind of, you really have to rely on a multiple opinion expertise to get that problem because a lot of times people can't see their own plumbing problems and you know she wouldn't know that there's cracks in her line or what the problem is. So how are you able to go in and sort of help Vicki after she did give you a call. She made the right decision and got the second opinion, called Black Mountain. Um, best way we can help people is my guys are experienced, they've all been sent to school, um, and they're going to go and, and try to be of service. They're not commissioned, so they're not trying to sell a job. In fact, for the most part, we just want to go, do what we need to do, and be done, and, and get on to the next job. If there's something extra that needs done, of course, we're going to mention it and try to take care of it at the same time. but. You know. But that's not always the case because, like you said, your sales, your um, plumbers, excuse me, are not commissioned salespeople. Why is that such a danger? Well, <laughs> it's a real danger for a consumer because if the plumber that comes to your house doesn't sell you a job for a lot of money, he doesn't make any money at all. And why would he go to work if he's not going to sell you a job? So you want a plumber to come to your house and perform work not sell you a job. Which is exactly why we love Scott, Mount, Scott from Black Mountain Plumbing and his whole team because his plumbers are not commissioned salespeople. That's just one of the reasons that we recommend them and we love that he was able to help Vicki with her um, issues going on. So if you have any plumbing issues or questions, call Scott and his team at 619-399-2203 or find them online at approvedhomepros.com slash Black Mountain.